Hello and welcome to another Red Dead Redemption 2 episode. I want to say this is probably going to be our last, if not our second last episode to the story, the complete story for Red Dead Redemption 2. And then there's so many other things that I want to make videos on that are going to be really cool and unique and just interesting and overall just fun to experiment with and explore. Uh, but right now we are going to go and speak to Uncle. This part of the map of the story right now feels like I'm literally playing Red Dead Redemption 1. Not only because it's, you know, John Morrison, but it's because where we are. And uh, we're pretty much at the ranch where John Morrison uh, bought for Abigail and family. But it's not really complete yet. There's a lot of things missing. Working hard. Bare knuckle friendships. It's the lumbago. I have I overdo it. I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, what, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to take my horse there. It's like a fast travel type of thing, because I'm I just not up for riding my horse over there right now. It's kind of far. It's like the other side of the map. John Marson is a very nice person for keeping this old bum around, you know? Don't get me wrong, I like Uncle, but he is a bum! Right, here we are! Come on, let's get off. Alright. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah, well, me neither. Find that big sour bastard. Sure. <coughs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slums. Yeah, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so ask about Charles at the saloon or the fence. Okay, bring up the mini map a little bit. Hold on. Let me, uh, every time I play Fortnite, I forget to do this. Okay, I guess we're going to go to the saloon first, maybe? Sir? Good morning, mister. Good morning, sir. I know you're the law, and I know you probably killed my friend Arthur a couple times back when we were playing with him, but I'm just going to pretend like you didn't do that. So I have to be a good John Marston. I have to do things the right way. Officer. Good morning. <laughs> Trying to be a good Samaritan here, you know, good citizen of the law. John Marson has really good stats, though. I'm not going to lie. Really good stats. Okay, where is this right now? All right, here we go. So ask about Charles or the saloon or the fence. So the fence, the, this is the uh, saloon right here. So no, the fence this is the fence, actually, I believe. Right? I believe so. Remember. Oh, let's go ask the shopkeeper. Hey, man, have you seen my butt, Charles? Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh? Indian? Yeah, a boxer. No. Nope. Sorry, Mister. No. Nope. Actually, yes. He, I think, is fighting. I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Can we get out of here through here? Nope. All right. This man's not even gonna tell me. Hey, what are you I doing? That way. Saint Just open up all his doors. He doesn't even care. That's a nice guy. Morning to you. 
morning. I'm just being a good person. Just being a good person. That is all. I don't know why, but I don't remember Charles being a boxer. What took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles Folks was here. Of a surprise, <laughs> but not one of life's great massacre. mysteries. And you are out. a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. Yo, what? He don't know the half of it. John? You're... <laughs> you're... <laughs> I'm alive. So are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just, I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. <laughs> so? So, let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only she left me. Excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself. To win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Bet on Charles. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, oh my God. the engine Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten and dare I say unbeatable <laughs> lone wolf. You know how this works. Oh my god. No weapons, <laughs> no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Come on, Charles. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh. Come on, Charles. Come on, there you go. Ooh. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, he's a killer. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey, Pretend he's my guy. Wolf. Wolf. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. <laughs> if we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater. Oh, cool. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. So it was pretty much get like pretend to get beat up on the previous fight, so then the other guys would bet on on against him, and then he bet on himself, my so he won a lot of money. So. Smart move. What happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He Aww. gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. 
He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or... or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah? That makes sense. Watch anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or... Since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> I don't want to have to do this here, man. You couldn't have thrown that fight! It's never just one fight. Evidently! Oh, God. Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Let's go, Charles. I just started being a good man. Now I'm wanted all over this damn city. Okay, good. He'll drive. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. I'm gonna pull out my gun. Pull, take out my gun. Not you see pull in my gun. I don't know. Not yet. Just gonna hide my gun. Keep your eye out. Santa Nia ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? <sighs> nope. I think we're clear. I think we're clear, buddy. If I ever want to go back, remind me <laughs> that I hate <laughs> Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Where's Uncle at? Speaking of simple. John Charles. <laughs> <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Yeah, looks like we're going home. Thank the Lord that I don't have to ride from Saint Denis all the way to Blackwater and from Blackwater back to Saint Denis and then back again. Oh my goodness, that would have been a fucking nightmare. So now we got two friends back. Charles, which was always he's always been great to Arthur. And then of course Uncle the fucking bum. I wonder what happens to Charles because I know in, in Red Dead 1 he's not in the game and I don't know. We'll see. I didn't think he'd come back with us at least. We have like our own little gang now too, which is kind of funny. Yes. Auto save. All right. Well, you can craft items at the main camp. 
Well, it looks like little by little. This is much, pretty much our own little Vanderlyn gang, but the Marston gang. A little bit more civilized. Not so many people. It's kind of in its early stages. Um, This is the fast travel here. It's pretty good. Some food. Looks like Abigail's nasty ass food. Alright. Let's see. Should we go speak to sadly uh, Sadie Adler? I'll probably do it after. She's all the way over there. But since we're already here with Uncle, let's just get right into it. Ah, uh, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. <laughs> let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. <laughs> Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Damn. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, <laughs> whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't going to change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. <laughs> Build a house that a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> Home renovations. Okay. We good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? Oh, you shit. Do. Okay. On me. Yo. Almost. And Uncle is what? Doing nothing. <laughs> He's just sitting there. Damn. I like the fact that we're gonna fix it up here. This is cool. See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. <laughs> Whip him if you have to. <laughs> Mission complete. Oh, that was fast. Holy crap. Come on, then. I'm telling you, man. This literally feels... Like I'm playing the first Red Dead Redemption. Now nah, my horse is going crazy. Come on, girl. Stop complaining. Quit your yapping. And start running. Yeah, just, uh, this horse is fucking... I bought a, yep. I gotta get stuff from my, my satchel, but... We're already here, so... I guess it's okay. All right, so Sadie Adler should probably be around the corner here. So my horse can run a little bit. All right, here we go. This weather's lovely. Well, hello. Mrs. Sadie Adler, Blackwater Saloon. She at. Hello there. Hello, oh, John. She's a magnum. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you exactly? Me? In my time. All three, but <laughs> same as most people. I guess. Funny thing, 
about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it? We're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Oh no. Not another one of these long rides. God damn it, Sadie. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Mister. All right, let's go, boys. That new horse. Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheap. <laughs> he looks mean. He is. <laughs> My ranch, it's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north, or gone off somewhere else, or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, Maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always <laughs> like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along, too. Mm. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. Oh, man. That would have been anything cool. anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. <coughs> and now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out. For who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. But I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. Hopefully we do find him and fucking kill his ass. Son of a bitch. I, I hated Micah since day one, and I would say it every single episode. Like, I hate this dude. I hate this dude. And I felt like he was always going to, like, do something. He was behind something. And then, whatever, the story just kept on. And I'm like, oh, maybe I'm wrong. And then it ended up that he did. 
Always hated him. There's a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. All right. Should be interesting. We got our guns ready. We got Sadie Eiler here. She's a she's a mean fella. We cut off this here. should be an interesting mission here. This is beautiful. Oh man. Wonder if we can find a McFarlane ranch. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Whoa, this is beautiful. Let's go take a look down in the valley. This is beautiful, dude. Holy crap! Look at this. Wow. That's armadillo. Come on, John. No way. Anything? Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. They'll be there somewhere. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Yo, that's armadillo. Who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. Dude. That's freaking Armadillo. Where are we on the map? Yep, look at it right there. Armadillo. <gasps> Yo, this map is huge. Holy crap. Got to follow it, John. Come on. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Dude, that is so cool. I'm definitely gonna come here. Alright. Gotta be careful here though. They'll be coming through here. Oh. Interesting. Armadillo. Slow it down. Hold on, let me. Do I have anything for uh, Dead Eye? They are. Just follow and keep an eye on them. Hold on. I need more Dead Eye. Come on. Just in case. Alright, we're good. All right, so we're gonna keep following them. Stay back from the edge. Now we don't want to fall now. <laughs> North through here. What are you doing, huh? You you're talking to me or like to? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Huh? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Okay. Dude, I'm getting dizzy from just going around the edge here. Why can't we just go down already? Fuck. Everything's so detailed in this game. Like, the terrain, everything's just so perfect. Getting closer now, I believe. Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. All right, let me get some uh, some of this. Yeah, stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. 
Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men, and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Uh, yeah, let's sneak. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. All right. Here we go. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Interesting. Pull out the good old knife. You guys, blow us. Let's get closer. <laughs> Did I blur? I can't believe she was literally like a lady we rescued in the snow cabin over there in the beginning of the game. And now look at her. I didn't think she was going to become such a huge part of this game. She's huge. She's a straight killer. There's three men there. We can't go around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. Bad as it is, we've got to do something about these boys. <laughs> Let's move up ahead. Another one off the trail. Thank you. Wait a minute, Sadie. I I didn't tell you this earlier, but I, I'm kind of broke right now. You know, I just bought a ranch. You already know that. But uh, look at the man. The man has a fucking knife in his head. What is that? Uh, forewarn. Ah, we're good. Oh man, this bridge is squeaky and wobbly and the whole nine yards. Just to be sure. We ain't sneaking no more. Look out. What? <clears throat> what the hell? What? What the hell happened? I don't want to shoot the horse. That's a horse. All right, let's go around. But that was a perfect, beautiful shot. How can you do that to me? <laughs> God darn it. Maybe it's just part of the part of the story here. I'm not sure. Guy up top still, right? Alright, let me get uh, some of this. Come on, John, drink that shit. Canned beef! Yeah! right here. Hey there, buddy. Right, I need I need more dead eye, dude. Holy crap. I need way more dead eye. Oh, there's a guy right in front of me, too. Oh. This little bitch. Yeah! Where is Sadie? I'm gonna go with her. Uh, 
Where are they? I think he's right here. There he is. He's tied right there. Uh oh. Holy crap. Oh. This guy doesn't die. We need our horses. I know that. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Look at him kill dead. Let me loot him. <laughs> Get for robbing me, Langton. What sense is it? The damn harpy. Okay. Let me go. You shut up. Now right, where do we put this man? Are you with her? What's it look like? Let's get Finley. Um, okay, you're taking Finley. Okay, I take him? Go. Okay. Get him on your horse. I, th I thought it was going to be on yours, but... Okay. I'll do it. Get him up there. Come on. Shut up, man. Hold on. It didn't work out for you before, woman. You should let me alone. I got a feeling this time will be different, Finley. You ain't cut out for this bounty work. I know it as well as any other. Oh, shut your noise. Alright. Alright. On the ridge. Let's go. Oh god. Oh god. Dude! Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh, I just shot the horse. No! <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. I need to There'll be a bucket yourself. <laughs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. <laughs> I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. <laughs> I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then... You killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How it work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. Oh, Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. <laughs> Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But this it is amazing, good to dude. have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. All right, now what? Go, go! Go, Sadie! I'm not looking for strife now. Jesus. This is beautiful. Look at the moon. So nice. All right, that's a butcher there. Here we go. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. Oh, shit. Grain sacks got 
Now what? Drop him? No lo puedo creer. Brought in Shane Finley. Great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. All right. Doing law enforcement work. You know us. We stand with the law. This is crazy. <laughs> the door open. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank too? No, I'll uh I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. Alright, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Oh, two hundred dollars. Nice, very nice. All right, so now we go and uh, who is that? Who's that in the? Oh, that's the. Okay, it's right here, right around the corner. So it's good. All right, girl. Good girl. All right, girl. Let's go. Literally right around the corner. Just perfect. Absolutely perfect, I tell ya. Okay, we'll hitch the horse here. And we'll go speak to this individual. Alrighty. See what this is all about. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. I'm <laughs> joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some <laughs> dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? Wow. Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? <laughs> Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks. Maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here. And uh, you sign your name there. And you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If this skin is about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. Oh, shit. I know the quickest way. Renovating our home, re uh, home renovations. Property Brothers. 
Red Dead Edition. This should be interesting. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash, so it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Now, where were you? When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof. Putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. I don't think he knows who we are. I'm finally gonna meet this tool maker. Now, Niels. He's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. Alrighty. On Sanita post. Acquire some tools from Niels. Niels. Niels, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. <laughs> okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Whew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Beecher's Hope. All right. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Everyone find some cover! What the hell? So much for for for, for, for being the best, huh? So much for feeling safe with your round, huh? Keep your Okay! 
Bro, come on, man. Holy crap. This auto aim misses every single shot. I'm not going to rely on this auto aim anymore. Shut your ass up. Okay. Aren't these like Charles's people though? Oh, let me take um. I guess this is all I can take. Come here, scumbag. Oh shit. Where's the one here? Is there one on top of the tree or something? I know there's one here, but I can't see him. one there on the map you can see it but all right you alive for now mr. Devin you okay yes Is that the last of them I think so there's more they got the tools they grab mr. Wayne all right you stay here guard the wagon Charles come on Oh my fucking lord, dude. Oh, they are in the trees. I knew it. I wonder I couldn't spot the other one. <laughs> oh, they're the freaking trees. Where is he? I see his legs. Let's do this old school style, baby. Kind of funny because he was telling us his story about his kids and all that. Found the tools. Now where's Mr. All right. Shit. Jesus. Yeah, 
Okay, that's glitched. <laughs> Dude, you know what's really messed up? The game was like letting the man talk so we could kind of like bond with him. He was saying, oh, you know, have a family and kids when I get home, put my kids to sleep, just so you could feel some sympathy for him. And then they freaking kill him off. God damn it. A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. <laughs> knew what he was getting into. Did he? Scared. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. Oh, who the fuck are the Skinners? Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody, too. Is he... Is it... Bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh huh. Holy crap. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. <sighs> oh, goodness. All right. Let's get out of here. What they do to him. Nice. That's some BS, man. Come on. We gotta go. Shit. Goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Damn, dude. Get it, brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. <laughs> the Skinners move around. But they're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. Slow down. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure, for good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. It was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Men, women, children. Ended up like Wayne. Or worse. Let's get out of here! Uncle! Uncle! Oh, oh. Uncle! I was... Uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we've scared him off for now. Bad business. Well... We'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Damn, dude. That was crazy. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Holy crap. Just got a bunch of money. Morning. Morning, sir. All right, let's go to Uncle here, see what, what we got going on. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what <laughs> uh -huh. I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning and... You do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing is says the foundation. 
Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig <laughs> a six-foot-deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? He'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Ah, uh, shit. It's gonna be the same house we had in Red Dead. Oh my god. That is so cool, dude. <laughs> Building our house? Say what? Yo, that is awesome. <laughs> this is amazing. This is unbelievable. This game is unbelievable, dude. Abigail's gonna be so happy. Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In That's the snow, awesome, the dude. Rain or the ice cold <laughs> wind, whenever. <laughs> it's so cool, dude. I can't believe no this. Look at his hair already. Tell you he's taking months for for this. That's amazing, dude. This game is so fantastic. Can't get over this shit. Abigail's gonna she's gonna love me again. I swear. I swear it. I can set up. Oh my god! Look at that. That's freaking awesome, dude. Like, instead of just having the game do it, you know, it, it allows you to do it yourself, which it makes it that much better, you know? Alright, so pick up. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. Charles helped, helped us build it. That's awesome. Let me have a rule and a saw. Wow. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail. Now nail it. We'll work so hard to build a little house together. The fucking music is awesome. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. That's Any great. Weather, we're together. <laughs> I think it's done, boys. Wow. Look at that, man. This is so cool. Nuts, man. Yo, he really did work hard for it, huh? And I think that's everything. Wow, dude. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. <laughs> and you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen. To this happy That's home. awesome, dude. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> <laughs> so now we write a letter to Abigail. My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and 
I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Aww. A few days later. That's the house right there, man. Just like we remember it. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Mission complete. A new Jerusalem. Alright, guys. We are going to end it here. I'm probably going to explore the house later. Because this is pretty much the same exact house that we've seen in part one. Obviously, a little bit more, you know, remastered. But nonetheless, man amazing i'm so happy with this i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode i want to say that the next one will be the last story mission episode whatever you want to call it and uh, the red dead campaign story will have come to an end but again there will be many more things to do i want to thank you again for watching as always i hope you enjoyed it and if you did leave it a like catch you later